right now we will be studying this chapter and uh, first of all i would discuss the words to know which have been mentioned over here okay so the next thing is that bloated bloated means much bigger than desired it means something which gets an enormous amount a huge amount okay then thrush a type of bird it's a type of bird birds have a very uh, similar name to those as uh, the grasses bushes or places something like that you get to uh, visualize something uh, related to places or things which are actually the birds we are talking about not even the ghost of not even the slightest trace of it means that uh something which disappears or something which is not visible at that time warren an area where rabbits live in burrows now the thing is that places where rabbits live okay doe a female deer a female deer is called as doe okay animals having uh, male and female uh, conversions have different names and uh, we might have studied them earlier but as you guys go up we forget them because we don't revise them so when you use these kind of words in your daily life and uh, you will be speaking english during your classroom so this will help you out a lot let's read out the poem okay i will be reading and explaining you guys then you can ask me questions related to it but before that no questions there's something new in the river the fish said as it swam it's got no scales no fins and no gills and ignores the impassable dam now the stanza we're talking about the first stanza is giving you the introduction and concept that what do the marine life is thinking about this new comer okay there's something new in the trees i heard a bloated thrush sing it's got no beak no claws and no feathers and not even the ghost of a wing now over here you can understand the concept that it is being compared to a uh, birds first it was compared the newcomer was compared to the fishes then it was compared to the trees and the animals living in those trees such as birds there's something new in the world set the rabbit to the door it's got no fur no eyes and no paws yet digs deeper than we dare go now what we are looking at is that the rabbit is comparing his life to that newcomer that whatever that newcomer is that is going deeper into the earth the newcomer does not have fish qualities such as uh, gills fins scales they don't have it but they are not afraid of dams as well same goes for the birds birds are comparing to themselves that they cannot fly they cannot uh, live among trees but they don't have any kind of qualities like we have still they are there that newcomer is there then there's something new in the whiteness said this no bright polar bear i saw its shadow on a glacier but it left no four marks there over there now you can see the polar bear is comparing its life with that newcomer now i'm getting curious about that newcomer i hope that you guys are getting too because that polar bear is also getting confused that it's not a a thing which is leaving its paws marks but shadow was seen through the animal kingdom the news was spreading fast 
no be no claws no feather no scales no fur no gills it lives in the trees and the water in the soil and the snow and the hills and it kills and kills and it kills i guess we all know what we are talking about or who we are talking about this is a highly deep poem with full of uh immense thoughts related to what we are doing to this earth people ignore out of fun what they are getting people ignore what they are destroying people ignore that how much they need or whatever they need what others are paying for their needs that's what we ignore consider yourself among these animals consider yourself a bird and just imagine you're having this conversation and someone kills that bird with whom you were having conversation consider yourself as a fish a fish that is speaking right now but dies very soon enough because of the pollution because of the uh leakage of chemicals in the river consider yourself as a deer who is being hunted by us consider yourself as a rabbit who is being captured by us consider yourself as a polar bear who dies every time out of global warming and then you will understand what we are doing to ourselves to others and to everything around us that's what we need to consider so basically mr brian tried to explain us the consequences the amount or the payment you could guess how easily we take things when they are actually not like that one of our own kind dies we mourn for days and years and months but what about them with plants of species of these animals are being destroyed we need to think about 